Hello, howdy, hey, hi there, I'm Bodhi, uh, welcome back to another video. Now, what is one thing that consumed everyone in the peak of 2020? Animal Crossing, of course. Um, yeah, as somebody who is a hobby dolphin, Animal Crossing is a good main one that I like to jump back and forth to. I always resort back to Animal Crossing, but as an artist, I have always wanted to draw villagers as humans. Always been an interesting idea I loved, and once I saw the idea gain traction on here on YouTube, I just knew that I had to try and give it a go. I have seen others randomize their pool by either doing a random number generator or pulling amiibo cards, but I already have a good collection of amiibos started, and I did try doing the random number generator, but it would just give me NPCs, like, like the special characters, and I, it took longer than I wanted it to. So I landed on drawing them in card order. There's a little number at the top right of the amiibo cards, and I wanted to just draw them chronologically from there, starting with non-special characters. I also just wanted to get my roots planted into YouTube, so we're just going to be starting with the first five characters. So without further ado, let's get drawing! Alright, so starting us out, we have Bob. He's a very loved character in the Animal Crossing community. He is the face of so many iconic gifts and memes and everything like that. So, a very intimidating start for me because this is just supposed to be like a put down some roots, get familiar with YouTube and everything like that kind of video, but he was still very, very fun to draw. But because he was such an intimidating start, I did admittedly spend too long on him. I wanted to try and keep each drawing down to about an hour, an hour and a half each, so that I could get through these relatively quickly, um, but he took about double that time, <laughs> just because I, I don't know, I wanted to do him justice. I feel like, I feel like he deserved that. Anyway, um, I know he is a lazy villager, so that's why I kept him in like sweatpants and slides, tried to keep that comfy look, but he also does, like he has this weird smug look on his face. Like, if he didn't constantly talk about snacking all the time, I fully would think that he's a smug type villager. So that's why I kind of gave him that expression and that pose and everything like that. But, I don't know. I don't know. He Does anybody feel like he could be a smug? Please tell me I'm not alone in that. I feel like he could be. But, I also, I like the lazy. Lazy Bob is so good. Lazies are just the best. Um, but, yeah. I wanted to keep him in a cozy kind of outfit. I wanted to give him like shaggier kind of hair because I'm like who would have purple hair like kind of I don't know so I pulled it up into a man bun but with all of that being said here is final bob yeah Alrighty, next up we have another loved character fauna again very very intimidated but I did give it my best shot since she is a good basic deer design that is absolutely adorable. She's often used for cottagecore builds, at least that's what I've noticed. So I wanted to keep that aesthetic in mind. I wanted to give her freckles because deer, I don't know, deers have freckles in my mind. And I wanted to give her long curly hair. I did like the idea of like a big curly kind of mane that has that flat headband in it to symbolize that color change in her shit, in her coat, her fur. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, I also liked her old fluffy coat from New Leaf, so I wanted to give a good difference between her skirt and her sweater. The new outfit from New Horizons inspired the flowy skirt and the colors, and in all honesty, with how I colored the skirt, it really started to look like Dolores from Disney's Encanto, but I did just decide to ignore that and keep going. I think she turned out cute nonetheless, but lastly, I made her have these, uh, cute platform Mary Janes to be like hooves, but also to keep that cottagecore aesthetic in mind. Anyway, I absolutely adore how she turns out, but here is my final fauna. Next on the list is Kurt. I know there's a good amount of mixed feelings with Kurt, but I'm one of the ones who absolutely adores this stinky man. I had him in my town in New Leaf, and he and Joey were best friends. He is fully a cranky type, but easily one of the sweetest villagers I've ever had in any of my towns. To be fair, I kind of feel this way with all of the crankies. They are the sweetest old men. Anyway, I wanted to be 
um, I wanted Kurt to be on the older side, especially with the obvious facial hair and the gray fur that his little animal has. So I also wanted him to be heftier because I feel like every bear is kind of like chubby. I don't know. Um, but yeah, the MVP shirt also gave me like jock vibes. So that's why I kind of gave him this kind of outfit. He, he feels like the older uncle type that comes out on Thanksgiving just to watch the football game. Anyway, here's, here's Big Boy Kurt. Next up, we have another adorable character, the cute little puppy Portia. Out of all of the characters so far, she was the one I had the most ideas for, but also she turned out the most similar to her actual design. I don't know. It was weird. I did want to give her some sort of pigmentation, like, disorder. I don't really want to call it dis a disorder because I think it's so pretty, but I didn't want to give her vitiligo, vitiligo, I don't know how to say it. Like, everyone does that for their jatinkas, but I wanted to keep that same kind of thing in mind, so I decided to give her just, like, white hairs, so I gave her white eyelashes and white streaks in her hair because I thought that would be really cute. So, yeah, I tried to keep her coat the same, and I knew that she's a snooty, so I wanted to keep her a little bit fancy, but other than that, there's not much to say, so here is my final Porsche. And lastly, of the initial five that I'm doing for this video is Leonardo! I'm a personal fan of all of the leopards. I don't really like the lions too much, but I like the leopards and the tigers a lot. I don't know why, but this, to me, Leonardo, to me, is Kurt, but the opposite. He is a jock, but I could see him being cranky. Jocks in New Horizons are just loud and stupidly nice though, so that's why I tried to give him like a bubbly expression. Almost like he just pumped up the random peppy villager on your island and is walking away with the like musical note expression. I also didn't know how to do the weird eyebrow muscles, so I did get a little bit lazy and I just closed his eyes. It worked, but I know I could have done a little bit better, but anyway, here's Leonardo! Well, that just about wraps up for all I have today. Here are the five of them all together. I just wanted to start with a good little amount so I could kind of settle into a YouTube routine. These are all so, so fun to make that I am definitely doing more. For those who might be curious with other content here to come, I will be doing speed paint videos like this as often as I can. And I am hoping that I can start streaming as well, whether it be video games or early access previews of what I'm working on, like art for new videos. It should be fun. I'll put all my socials on here in case you want to check me out and stay updated. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch y'all in the next one.